Clostridium difficile is the leading cause of nosocomial gastrointestinal diarrhea. The incidence and severity of Clostridium difficile associated disease, CDAD, has been increasing worldwide. Mortality rates are rising and recurrent disease is a growing concern. The recent epidemic with a new hypervirulent strain, NAP1, Ribotype 027, is responsible for severe CDAD outbreaks. Patients become susceptible to CDAD when the normal intestinal flora is disrupted by broad-spectrum antibiotic use. When the normal flora is reduced, Clostridium difficile, a gram-positive, spore-forming anaerobic bacillus, can colonize the intestine and multiply. Toxigenic strains of Clostridium difficile then release toxins that destroy colonic epithelial cells. In combination with the destruction of epithelial cells, which causes ulcerations in the colon, toxin release stimulates ion and fluid secretion, which produces severe, often bloody, diarrhea. Management of CDAD involves withdrawal of the causative broad-spectrum antibiotic, supportive therapy, and prescription of metronidazole or vancomycin. However, there are increasing concerns surrounding the use of current antibiotic therapies, including an increasing rate of clinical failure, a high rate of recurrence, and selection of vancomycin-resistant enterococci, VRE. Clostridium difficile-associated disease is increasing in incidence and mortality worldwide. With high rates of recurrent disease, and the emergence of new toxigenic strains adding to increasing concern amongst the medical community. Current therapies demonstrate high rates of recurrent disease and clinical failure. In lieu of these findings, newer therapies are needed to provide better outcomes with minimal side effects in order to combat the growing epidemic of C. difficile-related disease worldwide.